Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. This video is going to be about population genetics and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answers and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. Which of the following represents the proportion of individuals within a population displaying a dominant phenotype? And here we have uh, four answers to choose from. In order to answer this question, everything you have to know is Hardy-Weinberg formula. In this formula we have two alleles, that is uh, capital A and small a, and these two alleles can make uh, in uh, diploid organism three different genotypes. The first one would be capital A, capital A, this is uh, going to be homozygous dominant, second would be capital A small a or heterozygous and the third would be small a small a and uh, in Hardy-Weinberg formula for the uh, capital A allele stands P and, and for the small a allele or recessive allele stands Q. So now we can uh, arrange all this information into the formula so uh, for homozygous dominant genotype we have P squared, because when we multiply A by A, we are going to get uh, A squared, but because uh, in formula instead of A we are using P, so we are going to get P squared here, plus 2PQ plus Q squared. And you may also wonder why uh, we don't have here just PQ, why we have 2PQ here and uh, imagine that we have uh, only two alleles in equal proportions so in such, uh, in such population distribution of genotypes would be as follows so capital A, capital A here, small a, small a here and uh, capital A, small a here, and small a, capital A here. So as you see, this is going to be the same genotype, because uh, in uh, nucleus there is no such thing as left side and right side, top and down, so this is going to be one genotype, that is uh, capital A, small a, and uh, we have two such genotypes, so we just put two capital A small a. So this is a part of the formula and this stands for this part of the formula and homozygous recessive genotype stands for this part of the formula. So we also can put F that stands for the frequency of these three genotypes and when we add up all the three genotypes we are going to get one. So uh, as you see, uh, now we can answer our question and these two genotypes would represent uh, dominant phenotype because heterozygous genotype uh, would be the same as uh, homozygous uh, dominant genotype. So these two genotypes would make one phenotype. So the correct answer would be, as you see, answer C. Second question, assume that the frequency of the PQU, this is recessive genetic disorder, in your state is 1 out of 2500 people. What is the frequency of the PQU allele in this population? So we can solve easily this problem uh, using this formula. So. Uh, if we given this information that one out of 2500 people would express this genetic disorder this means that his genotype because he is uh, this is a recessive genetic disorder so his genotype should be small a small a or q squared so this is going to be frequency of this genotype one out of 2500 
So this is going to be a frequency of the genotype that is small a, small a. Let's write down uh, this number as decimal number. Uh, it is actually uh, here, answer a. So if we divide 1 by 2500, we are going to get 0 0.0004. But this is going to be genotype small a, small a, or q squared. That is the same. So uh, now, in order to find number q, and q is uh, uh, here, stands for the frequency of the recessive allele a, we need to take square root of the uh, q squared. So we have to take a square root of uh, this number 0 0.0004 and this number is uh, q squared so when we take a square root we are going to get q and the answer here is actually answer c 0 0.02 so we can put this number here the frequency of the uh, allele small allele a or recessive allele a or q would be 0 0.02 and uh, we have only two alleles in population so p allele plus q allele would equal to 1 that means uh, or 1 here also equals to 100 percent so uh, as you see if we know q we can instantly tell number p this is going to be 0 0.98 so 0 0.98 plus 0 0.02 if we add all these two numbers we are going to get 1 or 100 percent we can also convert these numbers um, to the scale of the percentage form we just have to multiply these numbers by 100 and we are going to get 98% uh, here if we need an answer in percentage form so frequency of the dominant allele A would be 98% and frequency of the recessive allele A or Q would be 2% so uh, as you see we have an answer here answer C and this is going to be frequency of the recessive allele in this population 0.02 or you may also have an answer in percentage form uh, then here you would see 2% and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye